What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you how to connect your Bluetooth headset to your TV, your amplifier receiver, or even your PC computer. I'm going to be using the Aventry Bluetooth headset. This has incredible battery life. Expect around 30 to 40 hours on a full charge. Uh, charging takes around 3 hours and it has a multi-function button right here. You got answer calls, hang up on a call, hitting that button. Has a built-in microphone on the bottom right here. Here's the micro USB charging port. And if the headset battery ever dies, you could connect the 3.5 millimeter audio cable to your phone or tablet and use it that way. Uh, it has a LED letting you know it's in pairing mode. It comes with this Bluetooth transmitter. On the transmitter, you got the power port, you got the 3.5 millimeter jack, and you got the power switch. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get this headset and the transmitter. And of course, it comes with all the cabling that you're gonna need to um, connect it to your TV, amplifier, or even your computer. So right here, I have my amplifier connected to the audio output on my TV. It says audio output. I'm gonna disconnect that for now. And I'm gonna connect this Y adapter. This Y adapter does come with the um, Aventry kit. This is a RCA to 3.5 millimeter jack. So I'm gonna connect to the audio output. White goes to white. Red goes to red, comes with the 3.5 millimeter audio cable. Simply plug it in right here. And it also comes with the power data cable. It's a USB on one side and a micro USB on uh, the other side. It actually comes with two of these cables. One for charging your headset and the other to power your transmitter. And you wanna plug that into one of the USB ports on your TV. If you don't have an open USB port on your TV, you could use a uh, a USB AC adapter that works as well. Before you do that, you wanna make sure the power is compatible. So on this particular device, it says that the input is five volts, 500 milliamps. And it has this magnetic base. We're gonna put it right here for now. See if we get a good signal. If we don't, we're gonna move it later on and press and hold right there. That should stay. Now, sometimes LED strips may interfere with the signal. If it does, simply unplug the LED strip or turn it off. Plug in 3.5 to the aux port right here. And this is um, audio out from the TV. We're gonna plug in the power cable, plug into the DC input right here. Turn it on, you just move this switch right here and that blue light turns on. And if you want to enter pairing mode, you press and hold uh, for five seconds. But you don't have to do that because this uh, is already paired to the headset. But I'm just gonna show you just in case you want to connect to a, a different headset. So let's go ahead and set it up right here. Now some TVs, you have to enter the audio settings and change it to um, the audio output. So, or you could turn off the TV speakers and it automatically toggles to audio output. Which, uh, which is this port right here. Now, if your TV does not uh, have RCA audio outputs, um, check for a headphone jack. The headphone jack may be on the side of the TV like so. Just simply, instead of using the Y adapter that has the RCA connections, just simply plug in the 3.5 audio cable right here. Now, once again, the transmitter and the headset is already paired, but if you want to connect to another headset, I'm just going to show you how to pair it. So you wanna press and hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll see the lights turn red and blue, red and blue. And then on the headset, you wanna press and hold for five seconds to enter pairing mode. That's when the headset and the transmitter is turned off. And it's in pairing mode right now. So let's make sure, oh, that's turned off pairing mode. Let's hold it down for five seconds. Uh, it's in pairing mode and then this is in pairing mode and you want to keep it close nearby and make sure yeah they're connected now now if it doesn't work you want to um, uh, make sure you're away from any wireless devices like a router and then try again if it doesn't work then we're going to check the audio settings and see if we could toggle it to the audio output all right so it's not working so what we're going to do is we're going to go and hit the menu button on the remote Enter the settings. These are TV settings right here, or it could be the audio settings on your TV. Select that, and then we're gonna go down to audio, and then select audio. 
Then you want to go down to TV speakers and you want to turn that off. On your TV, it may say um, audio output, turn on and off, then you can toggle that. That would work too. But on this particular TV, TV speakers, you want off. All right, so now the volume on the TV is turned off and it should be on the, on the headset. Now you notice it has also an option called lip sync. Well, this is audio lag. Now, if the, um, the person's lips, when they're talking, doesn't sync up with the audio, then you can adjust the setting. But this headset and the transmitter has a technology called the APTX technology, which is low latency. So you don't really need to mess with this setting. And also, some TVs do have the Bluetooth audio. So this particular TV, you can use the Bluetooth feature, but I prefer using the APTX transmitter. It works better than this um, Bluetooth transmitter that's built into the TV. This is an old TV and this technology and this headset and the transmitter is a new technology. Now with the TV speakers turned off or on your TV the audio output is turned on, the external speakers turned on which is the audio output port. Okay so I do hear the volume on the headset but it's really really low. So what do we do? We're gonna use the TV remote to increase the volume on the headset. So the Bluetooth headset is turned on and I, I hear very low audio. Now if I increase the audio on the headset, it's not going to matter because what we're going to have to do is adjust the audio on the TV. So let's go ahead and get out of this and press volume up on the TV and sure enough, it gets really, really loud. What happens if you have an amplifier, receiver? Well, you can connect your headset to that. Let's go ahead and do that. So once again, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the 3.5 audio cable. But on, on my amplifier, I have a different port. It's a headphone output. I don't have RCA outputs on this amplifier. So we're gonna be using the 6.3 millimeter plug right here and it has a 3.5 millimeter output. So I'm gonna plug that into right here. And you plug in the power right here. Make sure it's turned on. And of course, you raise the volume on the amplifier to raise the volume on your headset. And you can raise the volume on your headset or lower the volume on your headset as well. But what I like to do is I like to keep the volume around 50% on the amplifier, maybe a little bit lower and adjust the volume controls on the headset. Now if you don't have the headphone jack port or the RCA outputs on your amplifier, you can also just switch it to Bluetooth mode and then connect to the amplifier using the pairing button. So on your computer, only thing you have to do is connect it using the data charging cable and connect it to one of the USB ports on your computer. That's all you need because it's going to actually um, communicate using this um, data cable. You go right click this icon, the speaker icon right here, right click that and click on playback devices and we're going to choose right here the inventory and then set as default device and now it is our default device. Press OK and now it's saved. If you want to use it as a headset where you could talk and you know do your gameplay, you click on recording right here and you want to use uh, right click and then choose that as your default option. Now the audio is really low on the uh, headset so let's go ahead and uh, see if we could get it louder. There's two different kinds of audio controls. There's the media player audio control which is the YouTube player. You can raise the volume right here and that works great and then there's also the volume control on your uh, computer and you can just click on that and then raise that volume control as well if that doesn't work what you could do is right click that icon and then choose troubleshoot sound problems this will pop up on the screen you want to select a ventry select that hit next and then you can hit open enhancements once you open enhancements, you want to disable all the enhancements right here. And that usually um, 
fixes the issue. And then you choose OK. The last option to fix your audio issues. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go into Windows settings. And then you enter device manager right here. Select that. And once you have that window open, you want to check and see if there is any exclamation marks. Um, if there's none, you can just click on this one right here. This one says audio. Select that. And then you'll see a ventry. Select that. And you can right click it. You can update the driver, but it should be already updated. But usually what works for me is you uh, disable. All right. And select yes. And then go back and then enable. And then that resets it. All right. So sound video right here. Select that. And then right here you see a ventry. I'm going to right click it and then uh, disable, hit yes, and then enable. And then that should fix your, uh, so it wants you to restart the computer and then you can enable it. That, that's how you re reset the driver. So that usually works for me and hopefully it will work for you. If it does, give me a thumbs up. So if you guys are interested in the Aventry headset and transmitter kit, check out the link in the video description below. If you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on this link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you wanna check out my other how-to videos, check out this playlist link right here. Thanks guys for watching.